underwater power and I would like to demonstrate the new upgraded versions of the four stage RODI carts. Now these four stage purification systems are available in three configurations. They are available with a single RO with a 20 inch DI, a single RO with a 10 inch DI, and a high flow dual RO with a 20 inch DI. I'll just give you a little bit of education on what these systems produce and how it will affect your usage. Um, this, either of the two single ROs will produce about three quarters of a gallon per minute. And what that means is you can operate a, uh, a single pole with four jetted brush up to 50 feet, assuming that you have a normal in, incoming pressure of about 48 PSI. The dual RO system is, will produce twice that. So it's a gallon and a half per minute um, and uh, assuming you have a normal incoming pressure of 48 PSI and what that means is you can operate two poles with four jetted brushes up to 50 feet high or a single hose or a single pole uh, much higher than that. Um, and then another benefit of the dual RO is if you come across a low incoming water source, PSI uh, from the water source, um, let's say every now and then you'll hit something in the low 40s or maybe even the high 30s um, this will definitely produce enough water to get through that, that type of a situation where a single RO version, that might be enough or it probably is enough to uh, prevent you from uh, operating your water fed pole efficiently and may need to inline a booster pump in those situations. So that's essentially the differences between the single and the dual RO. Now all of these systems are four stages. Uh, they are configured pretty much the same way with exception to the DI on one of the single ROs. But uh, the four filtration, uh, you have your water source that hooks up here from the spigot. It will go through the sediment filter which removes large solids and rust. Um, then it goes through the carbon filter which takes out all the chlorine. Chlorine has to be removed before the RO otherwise you can damage the RO membrane. So then it passes through the RO membrane. Um, the RO will take out about 95% of the total dissolved solids of the water. So meaning if you have a 200 TDS coming in raw from the water source, you should be somewhere around 15 or, or so uh, before it hits the DI. And, uh, and then the DI will take the remainder out and bring the TDS level down to zero for a spot free rinse. And that is the reason why most people go with the four stage system. It's much more efficient um, than a uh, straight DI system that you might rent from Culligan or some other manufacturer, um, especially if you're in high TDS areas. Um, uh, these, these DI filters last so much 10 times as long uh, because the ROs are taking out 95% of the solids coming into it. So um, again, that's the reason why the four stage system is just so much more beneficial, especially if you're out there cleaning, uh, using water fed poles every day. So much more efficient, much less cost, much more cost effective in the long run for your filter changes. Um, so uh, one thing I want to go over is the RO discharge, which is equipped on all of these systems, on any RO system for that matter. All RO systems are equipped with what we call a discharge hose. And what that means um, is the water, once you turn on the system, the water is going through the system. All the bad water that the ROs are taking out have to exit the system somehow, and, and it's the exits out of a discharge hose. Um, so that's normal. Uh, about 20% of the water coming into the system will constantly exit out of this while you're using it, and um, that's normal. Don't be alarmed with that. Um, you can. Uh, these hoses are equipped with a, a garden hose fitting, so you can uh, attach another hose to it and move it to a designated area away from where you're having it hooked up. Uh, so it, you can uh, not have the water puddling up around the hookup site. And um, these, these systems have a flush valve, which is uh, equipped on all of them. And this flush valve, uh, what it does is it, it clears the system of all of the TDS water, high TDS water that's in there. So um, it has two operations. It has up for flush mode and down for normal mode. So um, when you get to a job site, uh, hook up the water, turn it on, the first thing you want to do is put this in flush mode. And what that's going to do is instead of the water exiting the DI side 
95% of it now will exit through the discharge hose. And that's just gonna clear the system, get all that bad water out of there, do that for about a minute, and then go ahead and take this flush valve and put it into normal mode. And then what that's gonna do is push the water away from this side and back to the DI, to the pole side. And um, then you'll be back to the 15, 20% discharge rate that, that will always be there. Um, these valves, this, this valve does not work like a normal ball valve. Um, when you turn off a regular ball valve, it shuts it off. This, this will always allow a, a discharge. It's a safety mechanism. Um, so that the pressure doesn't build up in these membrane housings. So anyway, that's normal and uh, don't be alarmed with that. Uh, these systems also have a uh, quick disconnect here at the, uh, between the ROs and the DI and this does a couple of things for you. Um, if you're ever uh, wanting to troubleshoot the system, Let's say you're experiencing a higher TDS than normal than what you may think you should be getting. Um, you can disconnect this, take the TDS meter that's uh, supplied with the system and take a reading out of here. And you should be uh, you know, at 10% or so of whatever the water TDS is coming in. So if you have 200, you should be at about 10 or 15 here. Um, so that'll be a diagnostic for, for your membranes. Um, the other reason is you can actually bypass your DI filter altogether on certain jobs um, if you're cleaning something that doesn't have to be down to a spot free or if you're cleaning equipment or uh, awnings or something in that neighborhood or uh, let's say your TDS readings were just so low that you, the RO was bringing it down below 10 and you didn't need the DI. So that's a benefit for you to save your lifespan of your uh, DI filter. So these systems include a 50 foot length of 3 8 inch hose and this hose is designed to connect to the DI outlet to the water fed pole, um, give you an extra maneuvering ability with your water fed pole instead of having to drag the system around with you. And you can add another 100, 150 feet or, or so of, the, of more hose to make it longer. Uh, these systems produce definitely enough pressure to do so. Um, what we don't recommend is to use this hose on the inlet side to the spigot. And the reason being is you can use it and you might be okay, but if you're in a lower pressure area, um, it could decrease your pressure enough to where uh, it doesn't uh, flow efficiently enough. Um, and it's because this is such a small diameter hose, it could restrict the flow coming in. So we don't recommend that coming in. Uh, you should use a garden hose that's half inch or three or five eighths rather. And then uh, these systems come with a handheld TDS meter. Uh, you can, it's a digital meter, you just get a cup of water. Um, it's good to know what you're dealing with in your raw water coming in. Um, just fill up a cup a little bit, a couple inches, and then dip this in, it'll take a reading. Um, and then you wanna test your DI water out to make sure you're below 10. Um, once this out reading gets to 10, your windows will, will have a potential spotting issue at that point and you need to change your DI filter. So it's good to have that information. Um, so these systems are all constructed with stainless RO housings. Um, they are definitely stronger than the standard PVC ones that are prominently sold out on the market today. Uh, they give it a little bit better professional look, a little bit more rugged. Um, all of the fittings throughout this whole system, on all of them, they're all brass and steel fittings. Uh, no plastic parts that can break on you. Um, and then, so they're really well built, high quality systems. Um, one thing I want to go over on the DI filters. On the single ROs, we have two models. Uh, one has a 10 inch and one has a 20 inch. And uh, basically, the only difference is you're gonna get twice the lifespan out of this 20 than you are the 10. So uh, downsize weighs about six more, five, six more pounds. So um, you kind of weigh out that. If you're not cleaning windows every day, you might wanna go with something a little smaller or if you're in a lower TDS area, you can get by uh, with a longer lifespan. Um, so essentially, they will, produce the same water flow, you're just gonna get a longer lifespan of the DI. Um, so 
all of these systems are upgradable uh, to the dual RO version. So let's say you're not sure which system you want and maybe you're going to grow into more uses later. So if you get the single RO with a 10 inch DI, you can add at any time a 20 inch DI filter to it. You just have to purchase the, the housing and, and obviously the filter will be bigger. Um, so either of these two systems can be converted to the dual RO version. We will have kits available shortly. Um, so if you have a single RO here and you're experiencing low water pressure in your area, I know San Diego is famous for that. Um, instead of using a pump, you want to go to a dual RO. Um, we will sell you the second dual RO with the connections. You can move this over at the second one and have it set up just like that. So um, upgradable and um, so you're not stuck with this um, purchasing a new system. You can always upgrade. Um, the weights and dimensions on these things, uh, 55 pounds on the single RO with the 10 inch DI. 60 pounds on the single RO with the uh, 20 inch DI and then the dual RO version weighs 70 pounds. So even at 70 pounds is, is still very portable. These systems can be operated in the upright position or laid down flat. They can be stored or transported in the upright position or in the flat position. And um, uh, these systems uh, include a manual for instructions on operating the system, troubleshooting, warranty information, filter changes, and um, the housing wrenches for the different housings. Um, other than that, excellent systems available by Pure Water Power. Thank you and have a great day.